I'm just getting ready right now. Me and my husband are gonna go out to dinner. We're in LA. So I am very excited to put some makeup on. I just did a skin treatment with my Amiro, that skin tightening device. That thing is amazing. I did bring that one with me and another one because they're pretty small, but the Amiro is just working wonders. It's really lifted and firmed. I gotta do, I wanna do like a video and show you guys exactly how it's like instantaneous. I couldn't believe it because you'll be using it and um, you know, it'll be saggy. Then you use it within minutes, within, you know, 30 seconds. It's so much firmer. So I'm very happy because, you know, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm terrified of surgery, you know, I'm terrified. And now I'm terrified of Botox because everybody's always, my husband's always telling me not that Botox is not good for you. But, you know, that's, is that true? I don't know. But <laughs> he's, he's got me terrified. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get ready. I just organized, reorganized my makeup bag. And last night I actually did a hair treatment to myself. It's from Garnier. I'll insert a picture because I don't remember the name exactly. It's their natural formula. I did a blue black um, treatment on my hair. It's you know color. It's it's uh it says it's lasts for eight weeks, so it's I guess it's not permanent, but it made my hair so shiny. I can't believe it. So I'm definitely gonna keep doing that from now on because I haven't. Usually I was just doing my roots, but this one I kind of pulled it through. It's blue black color, so it's like five dollars. Yeah, because I was gonna get my hair done here at the salon here and it was like $500 and I said you know what I could spend $500 somehow some other amazing way than just getting my hair dyed because I always do my hair myself but I figured I would treat myself and since I'm here in LA and things like that but you know $500 to get my hair done I was like yeah I think that I'll just you know I'll just do it myself for $5 and you know there goes that okay so i had to just go get the laundry but it was just making i don't know if you guys heard it but i started making tons of noise so i just turned it off but you guys um i'm just gonna chit chat your radio you i really needed someone to talk to i really needed someone you guys a friend to talk to i'm having such to be honest i don't want to complain or anything like that but let me tell you guys what happened so my husband had his event here and um you know, I don't like to talk about my husband's business too much because, and a few of you had asked me, you know, why I don't speak to my my family and my sisters. And, you know, because my family, if they know too much about my business, they actually had caused a, a lot of problems with my business. And if I told you what they did, you literally would not believe it. And what, you know, I, I'm gonna tell you guys another day, but, I don't like them to know anything and I they are they do watch my videos and I don't want them to know anything about me or my business my husband's business because like I said they have done you know I know why they did it I you know basically they tried to kind of well no they didn't try they well they 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 did it uh she had basically and i don't care you know this is my story i'm gonna speak my truth from now on i don't care i'm always scared to tell you guys because i know they watch i don't want them to get them why wouldn't i want to get them upset you guys they did this it happened it's not right i cannot communicate or be in contact with them because it's basically it's not it's not a good idea for me so to protect myself, I have to not have any contact with them or let them know anything about me. And uh, basically, well, the what time, what happened one time was just for example, they uh, basically tried to extort money out of me and wrote me these letter. They actually wrote me though. No, they did actually write me a letter and tell me you know to give them money or they were gonna do this and that. And I said what. I'm not giving you money, get away from me. Cause they handed me the letter. They had someone hand me the letter while they watched. I saw them outside. They were together, you know, watching. And um came and handed me the letter at my place of business, at our business that we own. And then I said, get out of here, because they handed me this letter again. And then they went ahead and did what they said they were going to do, which could have been very harmful to my business, was very upsetting to me to this day, to our customers. Uh, I don't really want to 
you know, I don't know what to say, guys, because to be honest, last time I speak about these things, uh, YouTube is like, this is not, it pretty much got demonetized because YouTube, they're saying it's not like advertiser friendly, you know, content, call what you will, but I don't, you know, I don't, it just makes me feel bad, you know, because I love YouTube. I don't want to do things that are going to kind of not, I feel like they're not happy with this content if they're writing, you know, da, da. so the content when I talk about these things. So, but you know, I want to tell you guys what happened. I want to, you know, let you guys know what happened. Uh, so anyway, because then, then some of you ask me why I don't speak with them and there are so many reasons why, but let's, you know, they're, it, the reasons are basically very not advertiser friendly. They're very, very, there's no words for why they would do these things. They're just, you know, I was in therapy and the doctor said they're psychopaths. So psychopaths don't care, you know, they'll do anything to get what they want. They want money. They'll try to do, they'll do whatever they want to get money out of you. You know, my family, they have tried to steal my husband from me because you know they wanted to they're psychopaths so they want to be with him so they just figure oh let me or they think he's you know the guy for them they don't care that that i'm their sister they don't care they're psychopaths and psychopaths that's why they're all in you know that's why they commit crimes and they're in jail you know i don't i don't know what words i can even say you guys without getting in trouble here but that's why they're in J A. I L, you know, locked up facilities because they, they don't care. And they go around doing horrible things, hurting people, you know, on aliving people, you know, they, they do whatever they want. That's what my sisters do. So, um, that's how they are. So I can, it's not, I can't let them know anything about me. So I try to, and they, they, I try not to let them know anything about me. But I gotta tell you guys, so that's why I don't, I'm not speaking too much about my husband's business, what he, what he's doing, blah, 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 you know. But I gotta tell you what happened here, guys. I was very, having a very bad time because it's not though. I have to talk to you, to you guys and nothing happened that I know of, you know what I mean? But let me tell you what happened. So I was at my husband's business here in LA and I went, and now there's a lot of people at this business and they there's just you know so many people and so i went into the bathroom and i'm in the bathroom washing my hands and all of a sudden these two girls come in and they're they're talking and they're and they start saying oh i'll do they were laughing and they were like yeah i'll i'll scg you know i don't know what words i can say here guys you know i don't want to get in trouble i'll do the girl was saying the one girl was saying i'll Basically, what word can I use? SCG. I'll f you. <laughs> you know, I'll have SCG with anybody to get to get a sponsorship. She goes, I'll do anything. She goes, I don't care. And they were laughing. And the other and her friend was like, Yeah, do whatever. Who cares? Do whatever it takes. Who cares? What do we care? And then they were laughing, saying how they were gonna. They were saying, you know, I'll, I'll f. I'll you know have SCG. You guys know what I'm saying, right? with anybody, I'll do whatever it takes. I don't care, I'm getting what I want. I'm getting what I want, you know? And I was like, wow, these girls are crazy. Now, I wish in retrospect that I had stayed and listened more, but I was so shocked and they were cracking up laughing about it and they were saying what they were gonna go do. They're gonna go, we're gonna get him, we're gonna do whatever. And I said, wow, those girls are crazy and I couldn't believe it and I left. I should have stayed. I should have stayed and listened more, but I didn't because I just didn't. I was so sh first of all, I was so shocked. Anyway, I go out to be with my husband and I'm sitting with my husband and you guys, lo and behold, this girl walks up to my husband and she's like, hi. And, uh, and, and he's like, my husband really didn't say anything. And then she was like, what did she say to him? She was like, thanks for, for everything. And, um, he was like, yeah, no problem. And then she like walked away and I'm like, oh my God, that was the girl that was just in the bathroom t talking about 
she was gonna have she'll have she was gonna have SEG you know she was gonna SEG with anybody to get whatever she wanted and um and she wanted to get a sponsor and get whatever she wanted and uh I was like oh my god and then she walked away I said oh my god that's the because I, I I came out of the bathroom I started telling my husband right away I said oh my god there was this crazy girl in the bathroom and she was and then she was walking towards us I said oh my god that's her and then so actually I started telling him and then she she came over she talked to my husband and then she walked away and then uh then um I said oh my god that's the girl that was just in the bathroom that was talking about she wants to do anything she'll hook up with anyone to get whatever she wants and he was like oh wow he was like yeah she uh is friends with his friend and she, who has a business and she had asked my husband to help her to do some paperwork to get her visa because she's Russian and she's trying to get a visa. And uh, she said, she had asked my husband to help, asked her friend to ask my husband and my husband said yes and they, and they were helping her to do something that she needed work-wise to get a visa. So, and then I was like, no, I don't, this is so crazy. I started like, I said, no, I don't even believe this. I don't know what to say. I was so like, oh my God. I And then my husband, I said, no, maybe they had a, more. Maybe there's more to a story. Maybe they had more, you know, time together. Maybe there's more that happened. That, And I started getting like so upset, you guys, of course, right? And then I said, my mind started just going like a million miles. Like, oh my God, they probably, he probably hooked up with her. He probably, blah, blah, blah. blah. And then, um, uh, Anyway, he has he brought his friend over out of and his friend he goes and he said to his friend, you know, just pretend he goes, Oh, remember that girl that we helped yesterday? What did she want? And then he said, Yeah, you just gave her the helped her get the pitch the thing that she needed, a letter. And then so he kind of was trying to confirm to me that like that was their only interaction, that's what happened. He needed she needed a, a letter and she was asking everybody to help her, who could help her get her this letter that she needed to get her visa so then you guys this is what happens next so i really you know i said i guess that's true whatever you know you know because then what happened you guys more after that then was it the next day i don't know but uh, i think it was was it the next day i no, it wasn't the next day it was the same day i'm sitting there it's like a few hours later i'm sitting with my husband and you know we're working and she comes over again and she's just standing there staring at my husband mind you she's wearing this freaking crazy outfit like what every part of her body like to accentuate every part you know trying to look as sexy as possible <laughs> and she's staring at my husband and then he like looked up and he just didn't say anything and i'm just sitting there and i'm like nobody's saying anything and then all of a sudden she just hands him her basically her card it was a sticker with her social media on it and she goes hot and then she goes here and then she was like thanks again <laughs> and then he just said okay and he just took it and put it down and then she she started to walk away and she turned around and looked at my husband she did the most what word can I use guys very she basically was like ah. she was basically was like oh hi bye like you know what I mean? I was like, oh my God. Are you not even trying to, you don't even care, who knows? Because you're just, she was so obvious. She was just so unbelievable. She was basically like, okay. I said, is this, is this, I said, oh my God. And then I said, I just can't believe that just, this just happened. Because basically what she's doing is she's handing you her, caught her social media to tell you to contact her and if I wasn't there she probably would have had a whole lot more to say <laughs> but then guys I look at her sticker I look at her social media I said who is this ish and I google her social media I was like oh my god I went into my husband's business page which I do I run his page he doesn't run it I run it and she had been messaging him like 
or messaging his business, but essentially they think it's him because people will write his business, this, you know, and they'll say, oh, you know, they write, oh, hi to my husband. Hi, I'll just call my husband Mike, you know, hi, Mike, what's up? And they think that it's him, but they don't know it's me that's running, reading his messages, writing his page. So she actually was writing to him. I can't wait. But she didn't, but to be honest, I have to say, now I was ex fully expecting to see something horrific that would have been like, hey, a great time last night, something that was, was evidence. But there was no evidence of that. It was just like, she was just kept tagging him though and say, in, in selfies and sexy selfies, saying, oh, can't wait to go to his business. Can't wait to go to his business tonight kept tagging him taking selfies looking her most uh, uh you know hottest pictures in the selfie saying hey god oh can't wait to go see can't wait to go to his business tonight to you know hashtag but so she did like that like three times i said if i write this girl back and say hey good time i had a great or nice meeting you she's gonna start writing but i have to be honest i'm scared to do that i don't know why i'm just I'm just terrified to do that, but maybe I should do that, right? Because I do want to find out, like, did more happen? Did they have more, you know, did I, but I want to trust my husband. I want, I don't want to think like that. I don't want to be like that. I, I, I don't, I feel so bad even saying that because I, I love my husband so much. I don't want, I'm just so upset, you guys, you know, I don't want to, be thinking like that about him or what is the word you know I don't want to start investigating him and things like that I mean he so far you know it's not like she wrote in the messages anything like that happened nothing I don't she didn't say oh I had a great time with you or good you know she didn't write anything personal to him it was no personal message it was just selfies and saying oh can't wait but he gets you know to be completely honest he does get like thousands of messages a day people saying oh can't wait for and then can't wait to go to his business so it's nothing it's nothing everybody does that so it it's not out of the she didn't write anything that is out of the ordinary because people always take selfies and although they know they really know a lot of people don't take selfies actually most people don't take selfies usually they just take a picture like you know, with their friends or something, and they'll say, head into his business. No, most people don't take a selfie. No, that's true. She was taking a selfie with her, like, best picture ever, <laughs> you know. And uh, to be completely honest, very, you know, I hate to say it, but this girl was very cute, so it makes me even more upset. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Because I say, like, wow, this is horrible. I feel like I'm in the Dolly song, Jolene. <laughs> but nothing happened, guys, that I know of. So I shouldn't talk like this. I shouldn't say this. I have to stay positive. I have to not think like that. It's not, I don't think it's, I have to stay positive. And you know, I keep getting very upset about it, guys. I'm, I actually am very upset because I'm thinking, is there more? You know, is there more I don't know about? And I just have to keep praying about it. And I had to just say, God, Jesus, I trust in you. If this is what happened, then but nothing happened you know but let's just if, if i'm gonna go there and be so upset well if something happened i have to trust in jesus and jesus will make it, everything will be fine so i'm not gonna get upset i'm not gonna worry about this anymore you know i'm gonna stop i'm gonna just let jesus if if this is what happened you know then i believe jesus will take care of me and he'll make everything work out but it didn't i don't think I don't think that nothing happened, you guys, you know, like plenty of girls have done that look to my husband because my husband is very like people know him in the industry, his business and they all a lot of people think my husband, you know, they want him for themselves, you know, to be completely honest. They think that he's um, they just want to They a lot ever since I met him, you know, people always are trying to, you know, that's what I get right for Going. I even used to say when I was little, I'm going to marry an ugly guy because I said, oh, then nobody will try to steal them from me. <laughs> I had like a plan when I was like 12. I said, yeah, I'm going to marry a really not attractive guy. So this way he'll, no one, because I really was scared. I said, I don't want a guy, but it doesn't matter. You can marry, uh, then I learned though, you know, you can marry uh, a guy that's 
you think is not attractive, but they'll be the biggest cheaters ever. And my husband and I have never seen him do anything. I've been with him 20 years, over 20 years, and he's never, he's a wonderful husband. And he saved my life multiple times. He's so good to me. He's a wonderful person to everybody. He never, uh, he's never tra talks bad about anybody. He never, he's a good, he's a wonderful person. So I'm not going, and, and even at this event though, I'm telling you about this girl. My, guys, my phone might die because I'm on my phone. If it does, I'll just say bye now. And I'll be back later. And thank you for being here for me and letting me let this out because I have nobody else to tell about this. And you guys are my friends and you were always there for me and I'm so grateful for you. But other girls were coming up to my husband. Some girl came up to him and said, oh, you have my, that works for him. Oh, you have my number, right? Call me anytime. Oh, I made this for you. And she made it, she actually made him something. She actually knitted him something. And she said, call me and she gave him a hug. So I got very, I'm probably very jealous, which is fine. I'm a human being, it's normal to be jealous. It's normal, so I'm not gonna be mean to myself. But wow, I said, this is why you say HRH on the computer screaming and yelling all the time about things because it's like a lot of crazy, I had never seen anything like that. So aggressive, the the girl that was looking for her to get a visa. This other one was like, that I'm telling you about, yeah, that also happened the other day. She was like, oh, cool. I told you, the one that knitted him a thing, oh, call me. You have my number, right? Call me, because yeah, he has your number because you work together. Not because he's got your number, because you are gonna like go out. Women are, I guess men and women are ruthless and there's nothing you know you can do about it or whatever, what are you gonna do? There, she wants to try to steal my husband. Hey, I can't do anything about it, right? If it's gonna happen, there's nothing I can do. This is like, I'm thinking about Yolanda Fosto on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She said, these girls out here will steal, will steal, they'll try to steal your husband for a purse. And, you know, I said, this is the situation right here. These girls was like trying to get, she was, she was in the bathroom saying, I want a spot, I'll do whatever it takes to get a sponsor. Now, my husband's friend had told me one time, spon and I see these videos on computer, and when these girls say sponsor, they mean like SD. And they're looking for guys to like give them money and be their SD, you know? Provider. Do you ever see these videos like Shara Seven and all these girls now make videos about, oh, you gotta go with a guy with money. So you gotta use guys, you know, Anyway, guys, I, I have to go because I have to, this, this phone is not going to last much longer. And I am getting makeup all over my face. So that is not good. But anyway, guys, I'll be back. I have, I don't know what I have. We're going to leave soon. So we'll be back in New York away from, I guess this never happened in New York. Where, where we don't go out in New York. So we don't see a lot of girls out there doing anything to get an SD. I don't think we, I mean, I don't know what goes on in my husband's golf club. There's probably girls that I, you know, there was a girl at the golf club, a lady that worked there. And she would always be like, hi, oh, what can I do for you? Again, I didn't care. And she would be like making him special things. Oh, I made, a lot of people say that. Oh, I made this for your husband banana bread because I know he loves it I, I made this just for him or people ask me what's his astrology people ask me what's his social media per personal one people have written me oh they pretend to be my friends and they'll say can you tell me can you tell me his personal page why would I tell you my husband's personal social media what and why are you asking why would you need if he doesn't know you why do you need his personal this is another girl so i shouldn't be so upset i'm acting like this never happened before this happens all the time um so i shouldn't act like so devastated right now because again this this isn't the first time this happens all the time so i should not be upset because again this is nothing new allegra i just talk to myself allegra is nothing new nothing different happened that has not happened already several times at least several oh more than several times so what are you gonna do it's just it is what it is right so i'm gonna keep getting ready again because i do not think my battery is gonna last much longer <laughs> so
so anyway guys i hope you're doing good i'll be back soon uh, hopefully we're gonna i think we're leaving soon i don't know if i posted this video yet but i went on a tj maxx shopping spree i had so much fun the tea that was amazing here the tj maxx is amazing so i had a great time at tj maxx maybe i'm gonna i don't know we'll see so i'll be back soon love you <laughs>